We could make this larger if we wanted to, but I don't have a lot of room between these two farms, so I think I'm going to leave that the way it is. And now that I've got some terracotta, I think we can go back down here and make this stuff look good. Messing around equals happy accidents. You are correct. I was just talking about that on my last video. Put that there. This shovel's almost done. Be careful. Let's switch this so that we don't don't kill it by mistake. So the good news is that we don't have to deal with all this empty space out here. The tricky part though is I want to look to see how I think the glass comes down and actually lands on, oh, it lands on lights. Ooh, I wonder if we can do that. If we put jack-o'-lanterns down here with carpet underneath them, it would look pretty cool. Where's the bottom of this thing? So maybe be hard to do couldn't put carpet on it but we could certainly do something we could waterlog trap doors that could work right now i think it's going to get rid of this Oh, I killed a fish. There's my bucket. I think I should do this the other way. Oh, that's weird. I don't want to have flowing water. I really want to fill this up from the, the right way. I should do that is going to be a pain in the butt and it's going to take way too long and not at all be fun to watch on camera so let's do this I don't work underwater very much. I did it a lot when we built the uh, guardian farm, but I have not done it in a long time. So I guess I'm okay with how that looks. go fix this up here good 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 and then we can get rid of this I can tease a little bit about what I'm going to talk about on the Citadel Cafe this week. Uh, I finally saw Bumblebee. I get I get to go see Bumblebee, and uh, I really liked it. It's it's a kids movie, like it's not aimed at at grownups, but I really thought it was well done. Not perfect, but compared to the other Transformer garbage that's out there, I thought it was uh, it was well done. Later, fix it. Take her easy. Yeah, I need to do a stream from the realm of Aston. That's that's coming up at some point soon, I hope. 
just a matter of time. Cool, so that's back to being like that. That doesn't actually look all that sturdy, does it? And I need to sleep a little bit so we can see what we're doing. I think that should be almost everything in terms of just like making this thing look, look aesthetic. Crazy frame drops, I'm not sure what happened there. So that all looks correct. There's just this little bit over here, but I think we can just hide that with, with some dirt. Thinking maybe we get rid of this sand. Just have it be dirt the whole way. I'm not sure why those are down there. It's weird. Something like that. And maybe have some sand there. I don't think there's anything I can do about the way that these things, these logs look, but that's fine. We're not going to be down underneath it. Uh, I think I'm okay with the logs being flush with the glass because of the hopper. Oh, that one's out farther, so we should maybe do the same thing over here. Do that. Get rid of that. So that looks like it's being supported, sort of. Maybe what we do here is have this be a little bit steeper. That. See a little bit of redstone happening. Looks cool. Adds a little bit of oomph, I guess, to the build. Kind of makes you wonder what's going on, which I think is nice. And uh, I'll come back and finish off the garden stuff some other time, just because that's the kind of time-consuming crap that I don't necessarily want to have to deal with. But um, we now have pumpkins that are coming out of this when more pumpkins arrive. And nothing in the hopper, so that's good. So pumpkin goes in, and we listen. Pumpkin goes out. And there it goes. Sweet. So let's try a stack and see what we can see. Uh, I guess I guess we should be the good scientist and go double check to see what is down the other end. So let's just put some of this stuff in here for now. That was close. Swim, swoop on over here, and we will take a look and see what we've got for pumpkins. So let's get rid of these, and we'll put these in. So two rows and two left. So let's go put a full stack in that hopper and see if they all show up. So full stack of pumpkins goes in here. And we should have a bunch of auto pumpkins being dropped. The torch burnt out, but that's fine because it'll eventually come back on and lock the chest. Now we can't fly back because if we unload the chunks, then the pumpkins will um, get caught. They won't despawn, but they'll just get unloaded. And then when they load up again, they'll all be in one big chunk and they won't end up in the hoppers at the end. So Doug and Victory from Cosmic Dancer, thanks very much. I was not surprised that this worked. It just took a little bit longer than I thought. But a lot of back and forth today. A lot of ups and downs, ladders and back and forth. 
But that's the kind of thing that happens when you want to build technical stuff. You gotta you gotta check to make sure that it's all working. World Tour Soon asks Cosmic Dancer, yes, probably in episode 50, whenever we get around to that. I have to talk to see if I can find a guest because I think it would be kind of fun to kind of cross-promote, see if I can't get someone, maybe someone from the realm of Aston um, would like to come on and do a world tour with me. Um, if not, I'll just be doing it on my own. So right now there's already 27 pumpkins in here. I only got half a stack, you're right. And there does not seem to be more coming in. Although, hello, look at that. There's 61 there. I don't know how many of those are already here. That's something weird about this system. I don't know what the, the update is, but these hoppers, even though they should pull down and then go forward, they'll actually get, they'll, they're, they don't fill the bottom chest first. They somehow trickle up and fill stuff evenly. I don't know what the issue is. I, I'm wondering if hoppers just fill up too fast. So stack and a half. I didn't chest I didn't check these chests. That's my problem. So let's go down below. There's a lot of lag in this area too. Have to check there might be some mobs nearby. There's a lot of dark places. Pop up in here. Let's see. Anything coming in the overflow? Ten pumpkins there. So enough pumpkins went by that the filter couldn't handle it. So there's the extra ten. Yeah. Gotta figure out a better system down here. Okay. Well, I would say that that is a successful mission for today. We ended up with a uh, overflow chest with a dropper on it down at the other side of the meadows. I have a little bit of a mess to clean up, but uh, I'm quite happy to have this pumpkin farm now hooked up into the greenhouse, which is way over here. Uh, and for anybody that's wondering, the greenhouse is next to the villager trading hall, so that's why... That's why we're trying to move stuff down here. The next thing to do would be the uh, the melon farms, but that'll have to be another day and, and might not be something I do the exact same way. I have to think about how I want to handle that. Uh, but that is going to be it. That's all the time that I have. Uh, but you can follow me online at joelduggan.com. Links to everything, social media, podcasts, all that kind of stuff. For this particular podcaster, though, you might want to check out uh, the Spawn Chunks, which is uh, on Monday. I record with Pixel Riffs and we talk about Minecraft every day or every Monday. It's fantastic. Although it's going to be interesting this week with the, uh, the upcoming changes. Mm, I think the only thing I want to plug if you're watching this on YouTube is Twitch because you can always come back here and watch me live and hang out with the awesome folks in the chat, including Cosmic Dancer and Paranor, who are moderating and fantastic people. Shoutouts to Comic Cosmic Dancer for being super nice and super awesome. And I think Anagram also subscribed today, something like that. Uh, I, I can't remember everybody. I know I thanked you during the video, so thanks very much. It was fun to hang out. I appreciate the company, and I will see you guys all next time.